हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम अनुजा गायकर बी सिव्हिल फ्रॉम घरडा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी लवे माय ग्रुप मेंबर्स आर चिराग घाक अँड निकिता सूर्यवंशी वी आर युअर टू प्रेझेंट आर प्रोजेक्ट अनालिसिस अँड डिझाईन ऑफ सायस्मिक कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर युझिंग ई टॅब्स विच वी हॅव कम्प्लिटेड अंडर द गायडन्स ऑफ प्रोफेसर बी एस जाधव दिस इज द इंडेक्स विच कंटेन्स द पॉईंट्स टू बी व्ह्यूड इन द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेझेंटेशन कमिंग टू द इंट्रोडक्शन The earthquake causing waves don't really kill people but what does harm to the society are poorly constructed buildings natural disasters are inevitable and it is not possible to get full control over them we cannot prevent disasters but we can mitigate them the only keyword that we can rely on and use as our aim for seismic design is resilience now what does resilience mean it means the capacity to recover quickly the figure in the bottom right of the slide shows the resilience curve which is just a performance versus time graph of a structure when a structure is exposed to any natural calamity it undergoes certain damages our focus is to keep the damage minimum reduce or even nullify the loss of lives and recover the damage as soon as possible moving towards the next slide our aim is to design a rc residential building using proper earthquake control system by limit state method and e tabs the objectives are to study the earthquake control systems and design a building by applying the same to the structure using e tabs this is the literature that we have reviewed for our project in the next slide for methodology we have first on a floor plan for our building in e tabs and then prepare dxf file after assigning the beam and column position and imported the same to e tabs after defining and assigning the materials and sections we have first analyzed the structure without dampers and then the same after the application of dampers we have compared the results and concluded by how dampers are effective under seismic loading In the next slide we can see a flow chart showing the types of seismic control systems seismic control systems refer to those modern techniques in earthquake resistant design that prevent or divert a major portion of earthquake energy from entering into the main structural system of the structure basically there are four types of seismic control systems namely passive active semi active and hybrid control systems A passive control system consists of one or more devices attached or embedded to a structure designed to modify the stiffness or damping of the structure in an appropriate manner without requiring an external power source to operate developing the control forces opposed to the motion of control structural system it includes base isolation and passive energy dissipating dis- devices an active control system is defined as one in which a large external power source is required for control actuators that apply forces to the structure in a regulated manner the forces can be uh, used to both add and dissipate energy in the structure the system being expensive and complex it is not suitable for small projects semi active control systems are a type of active control system with much less external power requirement than any typical active control system it includes electrorheological dampers and magnetorheological dampers hybrid control systems combine different passive active and semi active systems with the goal of achieving improved performance it reduces external power requirement improves reliability and also reduces the construction and maintaining cost now nikita will continue with the next slide thank you to anuja moving forward the device that we have applied to our structure is fluid viscous damper fluid viscous dampers are passive energy dissipating devices which are added to the structure to increase the stiffness of new and existing building as well viscous dampers work based on the principle of dissipation of energy because of fluid flowing through orifices 
द डैम्पर कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ स्टेनलेस स्टील पिस्टॉन अ स्टील सिलेंडर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू चैम्पर बाय द पिस्टॉन हेड अ कॉम्प्रेसिबल हाइड्रोलिक फ्लूड एंड एन एक्यूमुलेटर फॉर स्मूथ फ्लूड सर्कुलेशन नेक्स्ट द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ विस्कस डैम्पर इट लोअर बोथ स्ट्रेस एंड डिफ्लेक्शन थ्रू आउट अ स्ट्रक्चर दिस अलाउ द स्ट्रक्चर टू रिमेन इलास्टिक दे कैन बी इजीली मॉडल यूजिंग द कोड दे हैव वेरी लो मेंटेनेंस एंड आर अनअफेक्टेड बाय द वेदर द डिसएडवांटेजेस आर सम रेयरली ऑब्जर्व लीकेजेस इन द फ्लूर सेक्शन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड टू हाउ द डैम्पर्स आर अप्लाई टू द बिल्डिंग्स देर आर थ्री बेसिक वेज नेमली शेवरॉन ब्रेसिंग डायगोनल ब्रेसिंग एंड बेस आइसोलेशन ऑफ विच यू कैन गेट अ क्लियर आइडिया by seeing the images in the slide next regarding the building that we have designed the building plan is drawn in autocad which is a 12 story rcc residential building the building has two bhk flats on each story next the column sizes we have used are 1000 into 750 mm 450 into 750 mm 300 into 400 mm the beam size is 230 into 300 We have used a slab of 150 and 120 mm, and have considered 150 mm thick masonry walls. We have used concrete of grade M30 and rebar of FP500. The building is 39.75 meter high, 17.3 meter wide, and floor to floor height is 3 meter. We have designed this building for seismic zone four. In this slide you can see how we have assigned columns and beams to the buildings. The slides gives the information about loading applied to the structure. The loads are dead load, live load and SID. Earthquake loads and wind loads are taken in x and y direction. The earthquake loads are taken as per IS 1893 2002 and wind loads are as per IS 875 1987. The next figure shows the modification in the lateral loads that is in x direction. The seismic zone vector is 0.24 as per the IS code. In the site type is considered 2 that is for medium steep soil. The importance factor is 1 as per IS code for residential building with less than 200 occupants and the response reduction factor is 2. The next slide give information regarding the viscous dampers modeling in ETAP. The required input data is taken from the information given by a company called Taylor Device. For the building we have taken the viscous dampers with capacity of 500 kN. The link type is set to damper exponential. The mass and weight of the dampers are taken from the table shown in the figure below. Now Chirag will explain next slides. In the next slide you can see the elevation of the building with and without dampers. The dampers are diagonally braced from the top story to the bottom story at all four corners. Next coming to the result the the first parameter that we have compared is story displacement. It defines as the deflection of the story with respect to the base. It is observed that in the both the models displacement vary from top to bottom. Application for the dampers reduce the lateral force that are to be act on the structure, which result in the reduction of the displacement value. If you compare the values shown in the table you can see a significant reduction in the displacement values with dampers The next parameter for comparison is story drift it is defined as lateral displacement of story with respect to the story above or below drift is util drift is unitless number resulting from dividing the relative lateral displacement to the usual limit for wind drift is h by 500 while for the seismic drift is 0.01 h the application of viscous damper assist in the reduction of drift values next the final parameter for comparison is story stiffness it refers to the rigidity of the structure as in 
to what extent the structure can resist deformation or deflection under the loading conditions application of dampers increase the storage stiffness next to conclude we have used viscous dampers in our 12 story building in zone 4 and type soil 2 which is medium stiff soil we have modeled the structure with and without dampers and by comparing the results value we can say that the displacement has reduced by 50% story diff is decreased by 16% and stiffness has increased by 74% by comparison the paper well, available papers we have concluded that pass, passive seismic control systems are most effective and easily installable next these are the references next also we have presented our project at sabu siddiq college of engineering in the technical paper presentation event thank you